Hey there, don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell button so you'll be notified every time that I post. See you! Hello guys, well, uh, for this video, I'm going to show how to completely set up your Windows environment for Dart or Flutter development. Okay, let's get into it. The first thing you may need to install is just go to your favorite browser and write git for windows this is the first thing you need you'll see a page like this and automatically your download will start I already have this downloaded so I don't really need to so let me pause it after you have this file downloaded, you can just open it and hit next, next, next to install. There is nothing special. Let me try to show you what are you going to get. Uh, you may get you may get something like sorry, the file is here. I just want to you'll get something like this. So here, just hit next, 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 and everything will be installed. That's the first thing you need to install. After your git is done, you come here and type JDK. You hit next. Download JDK. You have to accept the license agreement and download it for Windows. This is what we want. Okay. Or oh, while the JDK is downloading, let us download something else. You write Dart SDK. Okay, for Windows, you can install it using. The command line but easy thing to do is come here download SDK for Windows and you hit this uh, the, the first one the first one just click on it and it will start downloading actually I, I already have this so I'll pause but you download these three files and it's not over yet now it's just downloading and I'll show you how to set everything. Now come to Flutter SDK. And see what you get. You hit on it. Okay, get started. Install on Windows. You can read this, but okay, I will teach you. You don't really need to, but it's important to know that the operating system must be at least Windows 7, disk space of 400 MBs. But what I want you to do is come here and hit on this. Now you're downloading Flutter. Okay, just a small recap you'll download Git, Git first, then you download JDK. Then you download Dart SDK and you download Flutter. So I'll pause the video and let all the downloads finish and then we will start with the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I go, the last thing you need to download is Android Studio. Of course. You just type Android Studio on the browser. We hit on the first link again. And here you have it, Android Studio. You hit on download. Android Studio. You accept this and you download it. But I already have Android Studio, so I'll not download. Okay, so this is what you need to download. You download Git. Then you download JDK, then you download Dart SDK, then Flutter SDK, then Android Studio. 
I'll pause the video for now and I'll come back when all the downloads are done. So yes guys, uh, I'm back and all the downloads are done. The very first thing you're going to install is JDK. You open it. <clears throat> okay, it may take a while. Okay, okay. You hit next. You don't have to change nothing here. Just hit next. I'll pause the video to see all of this processing done. I don't want to let you sit and watch this. Okay, is everything done here? So you hit next. More processing. Let's jump it. So guys, we have everything done here. Just hit close and the first thing you were supposed to install is done. Okay, uh, so what's next now? Let's minimize this. You have to, let's go to my computers. Then properties. Advanced settings, environment variables, and here you you need to change the value of path. But before we do this, we must copy the path. So let's open my computer, go to local disk C, uh, program files, Java, JDK, bin. You copy the location of the bin folder. You come back here, edit, new, you paste it here. Then you hit on OK. OK again and OK. You can even do this. Come to the G G R E file bin again. Let's copy this location. You hit properties, advanced settings, environment variables. Then you come to the path again. Edit. We want to create a new path, and we'll give this. Okay, we paste it here. You hit OK. 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 Now, to check if this is working, just hit Start and write CMD to open the command prompt. You type in Java C. If you get this output, it means your Java C is working with no problem. And if you get something different than this, or maybe the, the command line uh, has an output of something like Java C is not internal or external command, it means you did something wrong and try to do it over all over again. Okay, now we have our JDK installed. Now we're going to install the Android Studio. You already downloaded it. I have it in here, so let let me open it. Um, where is it? Not here. Sorry for the background noise. It's raining today. Here you have it.
Okay. Okay, it's done installing. You hit yes. Next, 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 install. Let's see. Now the John Rod Studio is installing here. We will leave this to our background and you open the Dart setup, you just download it, hit yes. Next, you read all of these, you're supposed to agree. Next, next, next. Now it's downloading. And just to close this portion, open this zip file, the flutter, it's taking a while, maybe because I'm installing so many things at the same time. So okay, let me, let me wait to at least one of these two things finish, then we'll go to the next step. So guys, uh, Android Studio is done. Just hit next, finish. Let me check the Dart. Dart is also done. Hit next. And finish. I don't want to import nothing for the Android Studio, so okay. Okay, so when your Android Studio is done, this is what you're going to see. You hit next. Standard, no problem. Next, here you can choose what you like. I like this the most. Next, finish, and it's supposed to download some components. I'll stop again and we'll be back soon. So guys, uh, when, you, when your Android Studio is done installing, this is what you're going to see. Now just click configuration, plugins, then browse repositories. And here uh, we want Dart, you can get this one. Okay, let's get another one. Flutter, this one. We want to install both and restart Android Studio. So Android Studio is going to restart now and you're about to see the difference. Okay, it's taking a while, but it's done. Do you see that now you have this flutter icon here? Just click on it. Okay, you can hit next. Now, here, flutter app, you can leave it like that. But now we want to get the flutter SDK pad. What are you going to do? We already have this downloaded. You can minimize this. So this is what we need to extract. Let's put it 
on okay C uh, program files you can put it anywhere if you want to but I just think is I think it's more organized if you put it here program files hit OK and you will ex extract flutter to the that location okay so I, I just extracted that file that folder to the given file let's try to open it it was C program file flutter hit OK and for now it's all next this you can leave like that no problem finish And when your processing is over, you may get or may not get something like that, but it doesn't really matter what you get here. You'll probably get this Dart not configured. This is the last thing I want you to know how to do. You just oh 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 oh, oh. it wasn't supposed to open that. Just go to open Dart settings because we already downloaded Dart, right? So let's set the path here. And you will use um, this Dart Dart SDK. Just go to C drive, program file, Dart, and Dart SDK. Okay. And you hit. Okay. And this is the last step for you to do. After this, we'll all be will all be set and ready to go. Okay, guys, this video is very lengthy, but okay. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching it. See you on the next one.